Hi, I'm Bob from Fantasy World, and behind the camera today is Barb. Hey guys. World. What I'm going to do today is going to be a little fun project, and it's not probably for everybody, but I'm going to do some modifications to our beautiful wall here. I had inherited from my grandpa, my great grandpa, a 1901 clock, and our goal is to mount it in this, in this position here, sunk back into the wall. So I'm going to pull out the fireplace and see if I can remove this radio and kind of either move it to this position or this position. And I'm going to build some little um, shelving back in here to uh, hold our clock. So. What makes you think you can do that, Bob? Have you done any investigation into spacing back there? Yeah, this uh, has two screws on this the shield to lift that off, and it, it's sort of some screws holding that fireplace cabinet in from the factory. They put Lou on back in there. So I'm hoping I have enough space to accommodate this clock so I can display my inheritance from my great grandpa. Yeah, we took some pictures at the factory so we know where there was openings and space and then Bob's pulled out those bottom that bottom drawer down there and you can see that there's space that goes that way also. So I guess Bob will get us started and we'll be we'll, back in a little we'll bit. We'll get started and we'll uh, see if we got enough space to do what we want to do. So Thank stay you. tuned. We're Bob and Barb. We've lived by the rules all of our lives, but in 2020, we threw that rule book out the window. We sold our home and moved full time into an RV with our cat, Amelia. And from now on, we will be living life our way. Don't you want to come travel in our world? Is there just two screws that hold it in? There's two screws that hold this cover on. Okay. Is there anything that holds the fireplace in behind it? I believe there's four screws. Lift this up and get this out. You gotta be able to go up just a little bit to be able to take that off. I've uh, taken out the fireplace and you can see the factory put Lou on board behind here. This is where the radio was at. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop this down six inches. That, that'll lower the fireplace. That's going to give us a, a little shelving area here. Then I'm going to notch it up as you can see with the clock. I'm going to notch this up a little bit and come over here and notch down to give us a little spot. And then I'm gonna relocate our clock, or our, our radio is gonna be relocated in this spot here. And then I thought just to make it look symmetrical, I'm gonna put a little shadow box over here. I'm gonna get some black shelving and put some black shelving. I'm gonna border it with some black quarter molding to make it look uh, factory, make it look like this. And the shelving we have come out will come out just kind of as far yeah. as this. Yeah, it's gonna come out about two inches. We got about four inches between the uh, this wood wall and that slide. So we're gonna let the shelf stick out maybe about two inches. That'll accommodate the clock. And then Barb will have some little knick-knack shelving area here. That she'll have some little little bit of shelving there. And then, like I said, the radio relocate and then put a shadow box over there. We're gonna make our first cut here, and I, I did put some painter's tape down along the bottom so I don't uh, scratch up a little bit. But like I said from the very beginning, this is a custom for our trailer only. But if you would want to build some kind of shadow boxes back in here, it's something you can do. Fairly simple. Alright, I'm just using this oscillation saw to finish up our cuts. 
because the uh, jigsaw blade wasn't quite long enough and I'm too lazy to walk out to my truck to get the uh, <laughs> the uh, salsa. <laughs> Just being honest. It's cold outside. <laughs> Bob keeps bumping his head, but he's not knocking any sense into him yet. And there you have it. Yep, these are gonna these are gonna come out and I'm gonna run some uh, two by two back behind here and brace it the way the factory hit it braced. And we'll nail it in there. It'll be with some uh, liquid nail. Quality checks with Amelia. Are we, yep. Is dad doing a good job? Um, I take that as no. <laughs> I am going to because I cut through the support beam for this uh, back wall to two by two it's the exact same thing the factory used so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue me in and one in here so I'm gonna run some uh, liquid nail all across through here just put that on well they didn't use any liquid nail that I can tell but... they also don't use the same size screws everywhere right they just use yeah, whatever screws. Of, well, number two squares and a lot of uh, Phillips heads. There's no wrong or reason. It's like whatever screws are handy they use. I got this little, little nail gun. We'll shoot a couple nails in this thing to support it. Put the, give us a brace here for this fireplace to sit back and down in this new, new spot. Will you be able to see the little holes, or? No, nah, they're gonna be hidden by the fireplace. When the fireplace is in there, guys, it, it does not set straight down on the ground. You still will see a little bit of the bottom of the fireplace. It just, just kind of feel lower, maybe where we feel like it should be. All right, we got this all cut out for the clock, it's cut out for the fireplace. Now I'm gonna cut out this little spot here for the radio. And I've got this all reinforced with uh, two by twos. Once I get this cut out, I'll put some more two by twos back in here where the factory had some two by twos. So we're gonna go ahead and cut. Okay, besides my mess I got here everywhere, we're starting to put it back together. Like I said, I put the radio up here. It's all mounted in and working. I built a separate, uh, I'm gonna call it a shadow box on this side just to make it look uniform with this side. And I took some, uh, this Luon thin board and just kind of lightly painted it so I can put it all together in here, box this in so this will be a little knickknack shelf. And then I'll frame it off with some um, some quarter um, round around the outside edge to dress it up. Black molding to match. Yep. All right, so we'll come back when we are a little bit more farther along. All right, so now what we're going to do on this, since we got it all cut out, now we're going to continue to box this all in. Box this, frame this all in so it's nice and clean and this all get painted black all up through here, down through here, down on down. So that's what I'm going to work on right now.
All right, guys, I'm going to show you the finished project on this uh, fireplace upgrade. As you can see, I built a shelf back in here where the, where the radio used to be, it used to be in here. And then we, we built a little shadow box to kind of match, mimic this radio. And we give a, um, this whole project was to hold this grandfather clock that I had gotten from my grandpa. Well, and we moved the fireplace down too, right? So then you see it still shows the fireplace frame underneath, but it's yeah. down at a much more normal level. Yeah, the story was, was this was my great, great grandpa's and then it was given to my grandpa, which was given to my mom and then my mom had given it to me. But um, it's a uh, wind up grandfather clock and to display it, we wanted to be able to put it in there. Kind of give you guys the bigger picture. Yeah. Right. You can just, I mean, it just shows you how you can make an RV your own. You can do whatever you want with it. You know, you can find spaces, cut, make, you know, cuts and walls. Um, there's so many things you can do to an RV to make it your own house. And that's what we're doing with it. You know, since we're going to be living in this full time and all the little things we want to, you know, make it our own, that's what we're going to do with it. And this was um, not a hard project, but not an easy project either, either yeah, it right? Was a, it was a day and a half by the time cutting it out and then framing it in and I box it all in with Luon wood and then I, today I mask it off and painted it and um, so it, it yeah it's a, it's a it was a full-time job but it's very uh, satisfying knowing I, I did it myself and it looks nice. We're gonna put a little bit of this green felt in here and it's gonna kind of be like a Barb's box gonna, for some of our stones. Barb's gonna display some of our little crystals and stuff and like put a crystal in there. Yeah, it'll be. We got, um, we got all this shelf box. here, here. We got the shelf here. Yeah. We got the space above the clock. So it'll so be good. Just gives you some additional uh, things. All right. And that's what a 1901 clock sounds like. Not everyone has one of those in their RV. All right. I give you an A plus. Thank you for that. Um, so just remember that we are Hedis World and we want you to come travel in our world.